Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, if you're already aware from the title, I'm gonna be reviewing the ColourPop times the Mandalorian, the Child palette. So I have it right here. This is what it looks like. I wish this was a full collection to be honest, but nonetheless, I'm really happy that I picked this up. So if you wanna see the look that I create using this palette here, go ahead and please keep on watching. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say like I'm a really big fan of Star Wars and I do like the Mandalorian. So when I seen a sneak peek of this, I knew I had to pick it up. This palette is very inexpensive. It's very affordable like most ColourPop palettes. This retails for $16. And this is what the packaging looks like. And then on the back, it has more information and the shade names. So when I seen this, I knew I wanted it. I just wish it was a full collection. I wish it would have had, you know, like some glitters, some lippies, and maybe some, you know, highlighters or bronzers or something. It looks the same as the carton here, but it's super cute. I love Baby Yoda. This is so cute. And then when you open it up, it does have a mirror, and the mirror is so cute too. I like how it says cutest in the galaxy right there. Super cute. But these are what the shades look like. So, so pretty. Let's go ahead and just get started since this is just one eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to create a cute, simple look and kind of let you guys know my first impressions. And then at the end, I'll go over, you know, my opinions and my final thoughts. I'm going to go in with this blending brush. This is the Morphe times Jeffree Star JS9. Pretty sure I want to use greens, but for his transition color, I really want to go in with just like a tad tony. Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that wrong, but it's this brown shade right here. There is a little bit of fallout, but not too bad. But let me go ahead and put that in the crease. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. blending fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with baby face, which is that middle green right there. I'm going to go in to that shade. I picked that up and I'm just going to put that below the brown in the crease. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this eye. So now that I'm done with that shade, I'm going to move on to another shade. So I'm going to take this Morphe times Jeffree Star brush. This is the JS6. I'm going to go in with a darker green this time. I'm going to go in Float Your Crib which is that middle green at the bottom row. And then I'm just gonna place that in the outer corner. Do the same thing to this eye. And with this shade, that one has like quite a bit of fallout more than the rest, but I don't mind fallout as long as the shade works. And so far, everything is blending pretty good together. I'm going to pick up that elf brush and dip back into baby face, which is that lighter green. I'm going to try to soften this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with just like a tattoo-y. I think I'm saying that right, the brown one. And I'm just going to like kind of blend the top all together. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. And I'm just going to use this Morphe flat brush and then go in with the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer. This is in the shade light peach, which is way too light for my concealer, like under my eyes. So I use this to cut my crease because, yeah, this is way too light for me. Although I do like this formula it is a bit it dries really fast and it is too thick for my liking i know a lot of people like it but i am probably just not one of those people <laughs> but i did coat the brush and i'm gonna go ahead and just cut my crease so i'm just gonna cut my crease like that and i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye okay so now that i am done cutting the crease i'm gonna go in with that same js6 I'm going to go in with that dark green float your crib like I did with the outer corner and I'm just going to pack that to blend the cut crease out. 
I do want to kind of just like blend it out so it's like fading in a way. Now that I'm done blending, I'm going to go in with one of the shimmers in the palette, which I'm actually really excited for because they look really promising. So I might not need to wet my brush. The glitter shade that I want to go into, and I was really debating between two specific ones, but I'm going to go in with Right Hand Mando, which is this top one here. And I'm just going to take this flat brush right here from Morphe and Jeffree Star. This is the JS11 brush. And I'm going to go in with that brush. I'm not going to wet it, but I'm just going to pick it up and see how it performs on its own. And I'm going to put it right here on the lid. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. But wow, this is so, so pretty. I didn't even have to wet the brush. Okay, so now that I'm done with the eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my face, throw on some lashes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and come back and finish up the final steps with my eyes and then go over my opinion and my final thoughts. Okay, so now that I am done putting on lashes and doing the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the eyes. And I'm kind of just going to do the same thing I did to the top, to the bottom of the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with this off brush right here. I'm going to go into Baby Face, which is that middle light green color that I went in the first time with. And I'm just going to place that on the lower lash line. And then after that, I'm just going to take that same brush that I used for the dark green one in the middle bottom row right there. I'm just gonna get a little bit and kind of just like blend that together. I'm just gonna add some mascara to the lower lashes really quickly. Now I'm gonna go in for my inner corner and under my brow bone and I'm gonna go in with Precious Cargo which is this really pretty white greenish shade. It's hard to explain to be honest. I'm gonna place that in the inner corner as well and it actually doesn't look white in the inner corner it looks a little like a like a green gold so maybe that's what it is like a green gold color okay so that is the completed look i hope you guys enjoy it i just put on lipstick really quick so basically i'm just gonna go over my opinion and my final thoughts on the mandalorian the child palette I love the packaging. I think it's adorable for starters for $16. It's actually worth the money to be honest because it's super affordable in my opinion. All the shades blended beautifully together. I love the look that I created. The shimmers are amazing. I didn't even need to wet the brush. If you are a Mandalorian fan, I definitely do think you should pick this up. If you just like ColourPop shadows and you like greens like this and this is your type of like vibe and you like colors like this i would definitely pick this up as well i think it's very nice it's very small so it's good for traveling you get a mirror like there's nothing bad i can say about this palette there really isn't i just i really do recommend it especially if you love star wars and the mountain delorean i really feel like you should have this in your makeup collection so yeah i'm not sure if it's available still i'm pretty sure it might be because i got this like way after it launched like i'm talking about hours later and it was still available for me and i was kind of scared because i thought i missed the launch but i was so busy at work so i was just like damn but i ended up getting it so i'm very pleased with it i'm really happy i decided to pick it up because to be honest i was gonna pass but i love it so much and i loved the packaging and i'm a huge star wars fan and i do like the mandalorian as well and baby yoda is just so cute so that's the end of this video you guys if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up show me some love leave me some comments down below i hope you are subscribed to my channel and please share i would really appreciate it i do leave my social media down in the description box my instagram twitter and tiktok so make sure you do follow me if you want to get notified anytime i upload a new video go ahead and hit that bell next to the subscribe button and as always i hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy and i will see you guys all in my next video bye